And the fight continues in the U.S. Senate today, where Republican leaders are pushing to override a presidential veto, where Democrats demand a clean vote on $2,000 stimulus checks. Skyler Henry is on Capitol Hill with more. The Senate Majority Leader has introduced a new bill that would combine $2,000 stimulus checks with two of the president's unrelated priorities, the creation of a commission to study election fraud and the repeal of Section 230, which shields social media companies from lawsuits. What we're seeing right now is Leader McConnell trying to kill the checks, the $2,000 checks desperately needed by so many American families by tying them completely to partisan provisions. The Senate's not going to be bullied into rushing out more borrowed money into the hands of Democrat rich friends who don't need the help. Senate Democrats were blocked from bringing up a standalone bill passed by the House that would increase the payments. We urge Mitch McConnell to stop his obstruction. Senator McConnell is also pushing for a vote to override the president's veto of an essential defense bill. One week from today, the new Congress will meet to count each state's electoral votes. Several House Republicans have said they will object, and now one GOP senator is joining them. Missouri's Josh Hawley is rebuffing Senate leadership's calls not to challenge the votes. Regardless of whatever antics anyone is up to on January 6th, uh, President-elect Biden will be sworn in on the 20th. President Trump is still at his Florida resort, where he unleashed a tweet storm against Georgia officials. The same day, the state's Bureau of Investigation announced it found no absentee ballot fraud in Cobb County. On Monday, the president and president-elect Joe Biden will hold dueling rallies in the Peach State, each hope to inspire voters to turn out for Senate candidates ahead of the January 5th runoff elections. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will also travel to Georgia on Sunday to campaign for the state's two Democratic candidates. The outcome there will determine the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. And coming up on Valley News Live at 4, Target is recalling half a million pieces of toddler clothing. How you can return them and get a refund next.